one, Sean. Huh? You good? <laughs> nice. Alright. Yeah. Alright. I am on vacation for the next week. So, we're going to start it off right. My fishing partner's coming down. And we are headed to Homer. We booked a charter for halibut and cod for tomorrow. Get down there, spend the night in Homer, and then uh, go fishing in the morning. Hook up at the boat at 7. And then head back here and process all the fish tomorrow afternoon, tomorrow evening. And then I'm off for the whole week. So we're going to get a lot done. Going to get a lot done this week. Stop at this rest area whenever I come down here. Gorgeous, gorgeous views across the Cook Inlet there before we get into Kachemak Bay for real. And then Cat, uh, that point right there is the horse bit. On the other side of that is Kachemak Bay. It's gorgeous. Gorgeous. It's, rough. it's 9.20 in the evening right now. And we're sitting here eating pizza <laughs> above the docks in Homer, Alaska out on the spit. Not a bad day, huh, Susan? <laughs> Good pizza, too. Got it from Fat Olives. Yummy. This is the view from the B&B. &B, and it is pretty incredible. God, it's beautiful here. <laughs> All right. We are on our way. What are we doing today, Susan? We're going fishing! <laughs> <laughs> we can park right up front again. Okay, I was going to say, yeah, preference. It doesn't matter to me. All kinds of parking over here, too. So, cool. I want them. I want them right now. Well, hello. Good morning. That is so cute. Well, hello.
on, huh? <laughs> Very cool. Very cool. Okay, generator's fired up, food saver's ready to go. I got extra bags. Now we'll process what we got here because Susan has to go home. <laughs> Over, yourself again. Again. So I don't have a scale, but we're kind of estimating by carrying this stuff that it was about 60 pounds of fish that was filleted on the boat for us. Um, and that is Clean, ready to ready to be processed. And while you can have your fish processed at the local processors, I kind of opt. And Susan's the same way as me. If I pay somebody extra, but look at that gorgeous cod fillet right there. Is that cod or halibut? That's cod. Look at that gorgeous cod fillet right there. And we're talking fish and chips, right? Cod. It's the, the ultimate fish for fish and chips. So I think what we're going to do here is we're going to cut these into manageable pieces. We'll leave some larger pieces for the halibut, but with the cod, figuring it's most of it's going to be fish and chips anyway. We'll go ahead and we'll process them that way. I am not going to clean the skin off of them right now. Um, mainly because we're kind of a time constraint, but it's pretty easy to peel this off, especially after we freeze it. As you can see, it becomes clear pretty easy. Uh, it'll come clear even sooner than that and then I could wash all this down before I got started but probably this is about that big make a nice little fish and chip rack when it's done and I'm not rinsing these off ahead of time we'll rinse them off uh, after they come out of the package before you fix them, and then that way you don't have to worry about the fish breaking down on you. All right? It's a nice little piece for fish and chips. Huh? Yeah. So, my, it's, it's funny because the one bag that I'm working on right now is all the cod, and that bag is much lighter than the, the bag with all the halibut in it. <laughs> I have a um, food saver here as well. So that's going to allow us to shrink all of this stuff up. And then I've got another ice chest over here. So basically, we'll do an assembly line. I'll cut them up. We'll get them bagged. Uh, we'll shrink wrap them, drop them into the other ice chest. Then when we're done, we'll split everything in half. And Susan's going to take half with her, and I'll keep half here. Um, and I'll throw my half. I'll keep some fresh stuff here, but I'll throw my half in the freezer over that I have over at Will's house. So yes, Will, you're getting fish. 
but I need a beer. Uh, yum. And these are, God, these are gorgeous, gorgeous. Fish and chip fillets, cod fillets. And I'm cutting them kind of at an angle because I like a bigger piece of fish with my fish and chips. partners on this one and then he got a he bought a bigger one that he uses for steaks and stuff put about five pieces per bag is it Cod's all going to be cut in those longer lengths, so it'll be easy to tell which ones are which. Cool. All right, you guys don't need to watch us process this whole thing. What time is it right now? It is 7:55 p.m. So, almost 8 p.m. right now. So we ended up with 18 packages of oh, cod. Um, and then I want to turn the camera back on again right now because I want to show you this halibut. So here is a small fillet of halibut, right? And I know I've got a bigger one in here. Because we did get one big one. Oh, geez. This is a beast. <laughs> Look at the size of that fillet. That is beautiful. So we're going to package these up a little differently. You want to do two pieces? I usually like about serving size. Yeah, serving size like that. And you want to do two yeah, per? Two. Yeah. Okay, so we're going to do like two per on this one because Susan's single, I'm single. When we cook this, we're not going to really want leftovers. We're going to be want to eat what we've got. Um, the only difference is she's got her daughter Jerry in at home. <laughs> and so she may have to pull out more. A couple of packages. A couple of packages. But you could always pull out more packages, but it's harder to refreeze the fish once you thaw it out again. So that's what we're going to work on now. Probably the same bag size, I think, huh? Oh, yeah, because yeah, we can do it right there. Should be okay. Here. Perfect. Yep. All, right. All right, we're going to get on this, and then we'll come back when we're done. So we ended up with 44 packages of halibut. A lot more halibut than we had on the cod. Um, because <laughs> Susan got a pretty good-sized halibut. I caught a pretty good-sized halibut. So it, it, it added up. So 44 packages. So, I mean, basically 44 and then what do we say? 18. 18 um, so cod. basically you could have fish once a week for an entire year on what we caught today. <laughs> that was awesome. I had planned on cooking something up for you tonight too, um, but it's getting late. Susan's got to make it back up to Palmer because she's got to work tomorrow. This is like, a, and then she's leaving uh, to go down to Washington at the end of the week. So she'll be out of here for a while. Um, back in july yeah for salmon nice. um actually i'll be back in june and then hopefully stay through july nice nice yeah. and then we'll, we'll we'll go salmon fishing and we'll load some up so when you come back and we go salmon fishing then we'll have to do a surf and turf because you yeah. said you're going to bring back some beef from washington, washington grass-fed beef. beef and then we'll, we'll catch a salmon 
and we'll grab a packet of, of halibut and we'll go ahead and do surf and turf for dinner. That'll mm. be nice on the yeah. campfire. Yes. Awesome. That's it. I'm Sean in Alaska. Thank you guys for joining me on the fishing trip here. Uh, there's going to be a lot more of this going out and doing stuff um, and enjoying Alaska this year than there was last year because last year I was a little busy with this. But this is still going on too. Anyway, thanks for watching. As always, I appreciate it. Have a great day. Talk to you later. Bye-bye. Nice to meet you all. <laughs> I want them. I want them right now. Well, hello. Good morning. That is so cute. Well, hello. Look at that. Nice. Pretty cool eyes Fish number on two. He's huge. Yeah. He's freaking cool. Pretty like fish. I, I mean, they really are. They take on the color of the rock. If you find a rock, you reel up a rock from the bottom, there's there's like fungus it. on it that is just purple and red like that. And, was it? Nice.